Madonna frees the nipple in her new music video for Kiss It Better, so let's break this down. The 19-year-old model's thin white dress gave the cameras a good view of her nipple piercing hiding beneath. No bra underneath the fishnet cutoff shirt, it's just her, nips galore, hanging out for everyone to see, and of course the paps are loving this moment. From the 15th century up to the Renaissance, topless women were common. In 1900, women's swimsuits had long tights and long dresses. Men also had to cover their chest in that year. 1910, women's needs became decent in public. Before 1936, it was illegal for men to be topless until four men went topless on Coney Island and were fined a dollar each. I started wearing a bra when I was about 10 years old. Probably like seven, eight, nine years old. Maybe seventh grade, so I think I was like 12, maybe 13. Like 11, around there. I think 14. It wasn't easy to transition from wearing a bra every day to not wearing a bra because I had like this complex with my nipples. I felt like I just felt uncomfortable like being in a bra or developing even. I grew up like playing with Barbies for instance, right? And there's like a set of tits that you have to have, like you're accustomed to seeing, you know? And then you go from, the, from Barbies to like television and movies and there's like always a certain like pair of tits that you see and like even in porn there's like a, a dominant pair of tits that's like glamorized, you know? And that goes back to the exception thing like, our bodies are so sexualized, but they're sexualized to a certain standard. You'll see, nine times out of ten, like, you'll see, like, a movie rated R just because of, like, boobs or nipples or whatever, and it's just, it's, like, it's, <laughs> you either have it or, like, you know, you're a male and you, like, know about it, so I really don't understand why it's such a secret that girls have boobs. I think the whole social media platform with, if a woman posts, uh, a naked photo of her breasts that it gets flagged is insane. But yet if they paste male nipples on their own nipples, that's okay. I, where's the difference? Who's to even say there is a difference? There isn't, it's a, it's a nipple. I think it kind of defeats the beauty of the internet because the most powerful thing of the internet and, and it, it is the liberty is the fact that it, it's so hard to create legislation on there and it's supposed to be this area where there, there are no like gatekeepers, there's no one that can really shut you down. It's supposed to be this freedom of speech, freedom of expression type of thing. But then it goes back to that exception of like, oh, but if, you, if you're showing this sexual thing, like it, it goes back to that sexualization that our bodies are, are hypersexualized. They really are. They're hypersexualized and they're shamed at the exact same time. Like for fashion shows and things like that, like, people totally accept these models walking down the runway with their nipples hanging out and their boobs hanging out. And it's like, hmm, it's fashion. But yet, if that picture is then, like, posted as a selfie or whatever, like, have you, that gets flagged and turned down. There's paintings of bodies that are naked, and those get hung up in a museum for thousands to see, regardless of your age, that I think for a photograph of a woman showing her breasts and that getting flagged and taken down while a man can post the same picture, it's completely insane and unfair. I know certain, I know Instagram take them down, Twitter doesn't, I'm pretty sure, so it kind of depends on the medium, but I think they should all just, you know, they should just let it be. I mean, if you're afraid of like children or something seeing it, then don't let them have something at a certain age, you know what I mean? Or get them used to it. The humans aren't afraid of the human breast. It's the nipple that's the issue, that I'm always so concerned. Like, I'm showing my boobs that no one has a problem, but the nipples are covered, so somehow that's okay. So America's actually fine with tits. It's nipples they don't like. You're right, it is a nipple. Which is what you have. It was kind of explained to me, like, you know, you know, you're going to get boobs, like, you need to wear a bra so that, so that people don't see your nipples through your shirt or whatever. I used to play sports and stuff, and I used to wear, like, a regular bra and a sports bra over that, just so my, like, nipples wouldn't poke through, because I'm super self-conscious about it, but, like, I really don't know why, like, it's not really a big deal when you think about it. Like, if I saw someone's, like, nipples, I'd be like, like, I wouldn't even think twice about it, you know what I mean? So I really don't know why it's such a big deal to me. The whole standard of just, like, that nipple, who cares? A nipple, a man, like a man has a nipple, a woman has a nipple. We all have nipples. That's literally the only thing. But I think that women just get so, like, shamed for our bodies. I think kids should just know early on that n women aren't, like, a sexual object and that you shouldn't treat them that way. 
that way when they grow up. Like, it's not a big deal that like, you're topless. Forever, women have been kind of been put second, if not last, in many, like, circumstances where a woman's education is lesser than a man's. Like, in certain situations where the dress code, for instance, boys don't really have a dress code. The dress code is for girls. It's in place for girls not to wear short skirts. It's for them not to show their shoulders. My shoulder's a distraction to a man, to a boy. Well, then that's a whole other issue if my shoulder is distracting a guy. It's insane when you really start to think about it, if you really, really start to think about it, because it's like, these are created so that so that what? So that the teachers and the students don't look at these minors in a sexual way? Like, why is it that all of our legislation, all of these rules are all targeted towards, like, suppressing something that we can't control, but there's absolutely nothing, like, no one's working towards, no one's making legislations towards, towards teaching a man to control his sexual urges, towards, like, enlightening men and women on rape culture? Is it because we're a distraction? Like, who made us a distraction? The only difference between a male and female nipple is that a female's nipple feeds a child. That's it. I think we've sexualized breasts to the point where we don't see past that they're sex objects, that they actually have a specific function, which is to nourish and, and, and connect with, with your baby and keep them healthy. Like, what do you think? Like cavemen back in the day like the woman would excuse herself from like the other cavemen and just go in the cave to like breastfeed I'm pretty sure that's not how it went like I think girls should just be able to feed like it's a natural thing like you eat in public why shouldn't a baby eat in public it's just stupid just because it's my boob like if I fell out of my elbow would it be a problem like I really don't know why it's a thing like it's definitely not sexual if you get turned on by a girl feeding your baby then you're the issue not her I've had people say cover up. Someone said that that is disgusting and I should not. And it was older people. I should not um, do that in public. And I had a cover on, you know, a breastfeeding cover. They're actually covering it up for you. It's just still this idea. That's all that it is at this point. The mystery is kind of gone. Like I am no longer showing you my nipple or the fact that my baby is breastfeeding, it's just the idea that I'm currently breastfeeding, that that's what's bothering people. This is such a phenomenon that just breastfeeding in public, that's the, those are the words, that as soon as you know that, it just triggers gross, disgusting, don't do this, and that's insane. You? <laughs> yes! What, what about it, what about it upsets you? I don't need to see that. Why? Because I just don't want to. But just, would you eat under a blanket or would you? Um, what I would do is I would go to the car. But I'm not asking about, you would go feed your baby in the car? Yes, not in, not no. in the bed. At first I wasn't gonna use them when I said I started breastfeeding. You know, I was like, oh, I'll never use one of those because you know, it's rider eating. It's just like us eating. But then to be like respectful, I did it. You know, just to not get talk to about it or ask to put it away. And they can say like, well, you can just get up and go to the bathroom and do it. But like, would you get up and go to the bathroom to eat your meal? You know, would you take your, your child's like from eating their happy meal into the bathroom or something like that? No, you wouldn't, because that's disgusting and it's unsanitary, especially in a public bathroom. Like a baby needs to be fed no matter what time of day, no matter where they are. A baby doesn't know. A baby doesn't know that he's at a mall or that he's at a restaurant. Like we have so many people fighting so hard for like babies to not be aborted, but then they, but then they freak out when the baby's getting fed in public. Fly Creek Cider Mill, do you remember that? This lady was breastfeeding her baby in public. She even had a cover on and she was asked to move to the car or a bathroom and not to do that in public because it was disturbing to other people shopping and eating. And so they left unhappy, obviously, and she wrote a letter to them and shared it on Facebook. And everyone saw, obviously, because it got ooh, a million shares. People were saying that, that they would not go back to that place. And so Fly Creek Cider Mill wrote a letter to this lady saying, you know, we're sorry, we shouldn't have said it like that, but people were complaining about you breastfeeding in front of them because it's just not a normal thing, supposedly. That's what the Fly Creek Cider Mill person said, even though she breastfed her babies. 
even like regardless of age, like women are just like seen as like a sexual object at this point. I mean, even without trying, people just naturally think that way. So if I mean, if a girl's topless, they're like, oh, you know, she's a slut, she's a whore, or something. Not like, oh, she just has a choice to be free, or not like a man. You know what I mean? Like, you're just trying to bandage the problem, and you're just excusing these people that are. I don't know, in a sense, abusing their, their liberty, you know? Because I don't think men recognize that liberty that they have to, to be able to wear whatever they want. Women who want to be topless should be, and it should be their choice. And if they want to walk around topless all day, not like everyone will, I think they should be able to. I mean, guys can do it, why can't we? Like, if I want to mow the lawn without a shirt on, and my neighbor who's a man can do it, like, why can't I?